So I got a chuck roast, about a two and a half pounds. We're gonna go ahead and slice this up. It was in the freezer, maybe 20, 30 minutes. It's not that frozen, but it's, it's really cold. We're gonna grind up our own meat and we're gonna make some hamburgers. So, we're gonna just break this chuck roast down. And just cut it in slithers first. And then we'll chop the other way. Or I should say we should, I'll cut the other way. Something like this. Got a little cold, a little frozen on this side. Man, look at that marbling. It's gonna be a good burger, guys. Bring it this way. Cut it about one inch pieces. Therefore, the grinder doesn't have a problem grinding this up. All right, guys, it looks pretty good right here. Let me put this to the side. All right, guys, so I got my meat grinder. I bought this on Labor Day. It's pretty cheap, 89 bucks. So I got a good deal. Let me, let me get my parts out of the freezer. I put them in a Ziploc bag, therefore, not losing anything besides I washed everything because it was a little oily from the factory and I bought this with my own money so they're not sponsoring this cook so let's just put this thing together it's recommended that you put this in the freezer when you grind your meat so that's why it was in the freezer put the housing if that's what you call it Put your screw, AKA auger. Try to line that bad boy up. It's on there. There's a knob on this side. Let me just tighten it up right now. Put the little notch. Line the notches up together. And then put our housing ring. I guess that would be it, right? This grinder is awesome, guys. Just by grinding it, I highly recommend it. What's the benefits of uh, grinding your own beef? Man, big benefits. Because when you're at the grocery store, you don't know what kind of trimmings they put for your ground beef, you know? So I'm going with this. Take this piece off. Come on. Pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach this one. So again, one more time. We're gonna grind this twice. Today's rub, we're gonna use Galindo, Texas Trinity. The best of the best. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I'm also going to use mustard. Yeah, this is optional, guys. All right. I'll tell you in a minute. You know, the blend on this, I'm thinking it's close to 2080. I really don't know, to be honest with you. I'm thinking close to 2080. Let's just say that. Well, I'll get to the mustard right now. Let's go ahead and season this. You're probably thinking, what the heck, why are you seasoning me now? Believe me, try it this way, guys. Every bite you get has seasoning in it. Every bite that you take has seasoning. It has flavor. As opposed to seasoning the other way. You know, when the patties are formed, you season on top. Which is fine. It's cool. You know? I do it that way too. But I found a better way to do it. 
So let's go ahead and season. Kind of heavy. All right, that looks pretty good right there. This is where the mustard comes in. When I was a young, a young man, my grandfather used to take us to a restaurant called Top Hat. And that's what they always did. I used, I used to watch them make the hamburgers. And believe it or not, they would put mustard in it. I never asked why, but they did. And I gotta tell you guys something. It was the best burger in the world. If you guys are familiar here in Ventura County, it was a restaurant called Top Hat. And let me tell you, they had the best burgers in town. And they also added white pepper. I don't have it but I'm gonna add black pepper to it. Something like that. Not too much, because you don't want to overpower the hamburger with pepper. At this point, you're gonna just form your patties. It'd be crazy if we, we, if we did one big patty like this, huh? Meatloaf hamburger. see how many burgers we can make out of this Just work it into a patty guys simple as that I do have the Z grills preheating at 250 degrees I will see you guys out there stick around check them out try to get them as even as I could <laughs> it's all good it's all good. I've never had a homemade burger that I've made anyways. So I'm gonna close this up. We'll bring you back in half hour. We'll check into it. Stick around guys. All right guys, it's been about an hour. Check them out. Don't worry about these over here. <laughs> Those are my daughter's burgers, plant-based. They're pretty good. I, I've had them before. Did you go for 10? Uh, let's see, 150, 151, 150, 150, I have a bread right here with mayo, we're gonna go ahead and toast that up, Kobe Jack, you know, the hamburgers, you can eat them right now if you wanted to, because we grinded our own beef, but I'm gonna take them all the way to 165, I just don't like a, uh, I like my burgers well done, if you will. But it's up to you guys, how you guys want to chow them down. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Close that up. And 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you guys inside and we'll build this burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that time, guys. I gotta dig into this smoke cheeseburger. Cheers, man. My mouth is watering, guys. Let's, let's check this out. Let's see. Mmm. If you guys haven't done the smoke burger, I highly recommend that you guys give this a shot. It tastes amazing, guys. Freaking amazing. Cheers again. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm dripping all over the floor. Mmm. Freaking outstanding, guys. Once again, Z Girls did it again, man. I haven't found any uh, cons with it yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't found any cons with the Z-Grill yet. I highly recommend this Z-Grill. With that said, shout out to Z-Grills for sponsoring this video. Like I said, highly recommend a smoked burger. It doesn't compare to any other burgers I've had. Give me a thumbs up. And if you can help me out, go ahead and subscribe right here, guys. Gracias.
I'll see you guys in a few days. You guys take care, man. Esta hamburger. Esta hamburguesa está muy, muy bueno. Delicious hamburger, guys. I can't, I, I just can't put it down, man. Mmm.